Hey everybody, welcome to System Test 43. So for today's test, we're going to have sort of a competition of sorts. Um, if you remember back to, I think it was either System Test 23 or 25, one of those two, I did a video um, where the subtitle was Old Mechanical versus, uh, versus New Electronic. And I think in that video, I had a Simplex True Alert remote horn versus um, probably a 9838. Um, I could probably look back at that video to confirm that, but I think that's what it was. So that's going to be the general idea for today. We have a brand new System Sensor L series uh, P2RL over there on the left hand side. It's the white version with the multi candela strobe, and it's going to be coding itself to code 3, and it's on the highest volume. Then over on the other uh, notification appliance box, we have a Federal Signal 4050D Series C2. So this is a little bit more modern of a mechanical horn. You see it a lot in my videos because of all the vibratones that I have. This is the one that works the nicest with the panel and is the easiest to wire up. Um, so that uh, obviously doesn't have too much of a volume or coding adjustment on it, but it's going to be coded from the panel to code 3 to match up with the L series. Obviously it won't be perfect. When I was running tests on this beforehand, the, uh, the federal signal will start into its code 3 round before the L series does. Um, but then we'll be able to see, uh, you know, I guess which one uh, comes out on top when we go back and look at the recordings. Um, so before we go ahead and check out which of these is louder, um, we're going to take a quick look at the pull stations that we'll use to activate the system today. So since we're doing old and new for the uh, horns up there today, I figured the pull stations should match up just the same. To go along with the newer L series, we have none other than a Firelight BG-12. Um, this is just the standard Allen wrench version, um, non-addressable, obviously. It wasn't modified at all to make it conventional. And it is the dual action version. It's just the plain old vanilla BG-12. Um, then to match up with the older Federal Signal horn, um, this pull station predates that horn um, by a long shot, but this is a Firelight BG-6. Um, this was, I think, I read about it on the fire panel forums once. This is the first generation BG-6 because of how the handle behaves um, when you pull it down. So. That's a little bit older of a station than that Federal Signal Horn. The Federal Signal Horn is from the mid-90s, and this is probably from the mid to late 1970s. But anyways, um, it gets the point across the old versus new. Um, but anyways, since I'm betting that the uh, Federal Signal Horn is probably going to drown out the L-Series, um, I'll start off by activating the older matching pulse station in the BG-6. And so now we're going to go ahead and pull it. Since the idea is to compare the sound of the two horns, I'm going to silence the DMP keypads and the uh, internal piezo on the SXLEX right away before I shift the camera over to the two horns. Um, so that should hopefully be the only thing on the uh, audio recording for this test. But here we go. Oops. Oh wait, never mind, there it goes. I thought for a second that I had accidentally left the uh, the Federal Signals knack on non-silenceable, but 
uh, cause I heard the L series cut out really quickly, but I forgot that since it's doing code three, it was going to finish the, uh, the code three round before silencing anyways. Um, in terms of trying to compare how the, uh, the horn sounded, that kind of turned out unfortunate because they kind of synced up perfectly opposite of each other when, uh, when the Federal Signal Horn was doing its Code 3 pulses, the uh, the L series was silent, and then as soon as the Federal Signal was done with one of the pulses, you know, <laughs> then the L series would chime in. Um, we'll go ahead and activate the BG-12, and I assume the timing is probably going to be pretty consistent between the two. Um, so I it, it'll probably be ending up the exact same thing where they'll just be alternating between each other which sounds really cool and I was surprised that it happened but uh doesn't work out so well for directly comparing you know which one is louder but I think I kind of have an idea of which one is probably beating out the other um but anyways let's go ahead and pull that BG-12 so let's go ahead and pull this to resound those horns So now we can go ahead and reset those pull stations, and then uh, we'll discuss the, I guess you call it the results of this test, and oh my god, is that a crooked camera frame? Well, oh well, too late now. Um, anyways, let's go ahead and, and reset these. My, my tripod is accidentally sitting on my laptop on the ground, that's why everything's so crooked. Alright, so these pull stations both reset with an Allen wrench, but uh, irritatingly not the same one. Um, let's go ahead and reset the BG-12 there. That one's easy because it's just uh, basically acting like a key. It's just a quarter turn to open up the lock. Uh, the BG-6 is going to be different because, as I occasionally do, I forgot that, uh, well, you can't really see it here. Maybe I'll shift the camera just a little bit. But uh, with the DMP panel here, I can't get the wrench in up and down. So... Um, I didn't notice that until I went to close it after I had already screwed it all into the back box, so I kind of just have to loosen it up with little half turns on the Allen wrench and then open it up. There we go. This isn't too bad. One time I got the, uh, the 270 SPO stuck under here, and the only screwdriver that I have that will open that pull station um, cause it has a really finicky screw cause it has a, a, a one way design built in, which is kind of not necessary since those are supposed to be like security screws and it's not really preventing anybody from opening it. It's just preventing somebody from turning it the wrong way, which I don't think would hurt the station anyways. Um, but regardless, the only screwdriver I have that will fit that station is, is probably about you know, eight or nine inches long with the handle, and so that was a, a real experience to try to unlock that station to just get it removed, and I remember I had it installed during a system test, and, and I couldn't test it that time, and I forget how I eventually got it out. I think I used like a, a suitcase key or something that I was able to get in there, but it was, <laughs> it was really kind of frustrating. Um, but anyways, both of the pull stations are reset, and we can go back and reset the panel now. Alrighty. And reset. Alright, so now the million dollar question at hand um, that we started this test by asking, uh, which of these beat out the other? And I suspect that there'll be two different answers based on the viewers watching this video and me who was sitting here in front of it. 
um, because of how my phone tends to record sounds. Uh, my best guess is that in the video recording, the L series is going to be much, much louder. Um, just because of the way that the uh, the microphone is going to pick up that really high pitched shrill sound um, versus the like the very even tone of the federal signal horn, which is probably going to start picking up um, almost as a background sound. That's why I put the um, um, I ju I literally just said oh federal signal horn. That's why I put the federal signal horn on code three for this test is so that my phone didn't start um, trying to identify that as a background noise because it was so steady and consistent and then um, record the L series right over it. Um, in person, I, I'm pretty sure the, the Vibratone horn won because even though they were kind of, you know, oppositely in sync during that first time, when I pulled the BG-12 the second time, they weren't in sync like that again. Um, but I could always hear the rounds of Code 3 from the federal signal horn very clearly and then it it sounded like the the L series horn was kind of I guess filling in the gaps um, between the noises that the the 450D was making so for that reason I'm gonna vote that the vibratone horn easily overpowered the L series in terms of sound output um, but like I said I I really won't know until I listen to the video and edit it how it sounds like on the video so if you guys have a different opinion on which horn won um, I guess we could have taken it a step further and you know tested it farther away down the hall or even outside to see which one you know the sound carried better from which I also suspect that the the 450D would win in that fight since it has such a much lower pitch sound but uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments based on uh, how it sounds when you watch the video and I think we'll get some varied responses based on how the speakers play it back or you know how my microphone recorded it since this isn't oops isn't the best mic I'm I'm still making videos on an iPhone 5 um, and if that's not scary enough that's still the phone that I use on a daily basis um, I've been thinking about getting an SE because I, I don't want a bigger phone it's not that I don't, I don't want a newer phone. I, I don't like the larger sizes, but that's beside the point. It's an older phone with an older mic, so um, sound quality can be iffy at times. Uh, but anyways, that's all the system uh, test content that I had planned for today. Thank you guys for watching, and have a great day.